Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel and welcome back to another video on the S80. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning here. Um, and actually today's video, we're gonna talk about heat, um, but heat in the brakes, and it's something that I've noticed on this car. Um, we're doing a bit of sort of high speed driving, braking, heavy braking, that sort of thing, um, on some sort of twisty roads. And um, some one of the sort of drawbacks of this car became clear. Um, which is something that I was quite surprised about, so I thought I'd make a video on it, um, addressing it really. Um, so, the previous car to this was a M Sport BMW 120D, um, had the sport package and everything, so that was probably similar power to this car, um, but much lighter, granted. Um, actually, probably slightly less power, but um, yeah, this, this is probably as quick, if not quicker, this car. So. One of the things on that car I was really, really impressed by was in the front bumper, um, it was the N-Sport and it had ducks um, for brake cooling. Um, so when I got into this car, I didn't really pay much attention to the sort of brake temperatures because I just I just never had to in the past really. Um, so like I said, I was doing some sort of big driving, um, quite heavy work on the brakes and I noticed this quite a bit of fade um, in the brake pedal. Um, it was sort of I had to, having to press them harder and harder to get sort of the same feel from them. Um, so I stopped, um, let the cool down, carried on for, and then carried on after a while. Um, and then after a bit longer, I noticed there was sort of a grinding noise. Um, and again, so I pulled over, um, I got out and I just sort of put my hand about a foot away um, from the brakes and I'm not joking they were absolutely roasting um, I could feel the heat from this far away um, so bearing in mind we're probably driving, driving at 60 70 miles an hour um, these brakes don't get much cooling at all these are the the, the big um, I think they're 360 mil brakes um, and the vented discs as well um, which I didn't realise until I was just before I made this video, because um, I was just having a look at it, sort of having a look at design um, and everything like that. But um, I think the thing is with these, because they don't have any sort of airflow coming in, um, these vented brakes, these vented brake discs are fairly limited into the sort of airflow um, that they can get. Um, so that was just sort of the reason for making this video is going to be talking about braking really. Um, so. Like I said, they're a big caliper, um, and this car, fully laden, probably at the time, was just under two ton. Um, and previously, or in other sort of high-performance vehicles, um, you get specific brake cooling sort of modifications. But if you actually take a look at this car, it's got absolutely none. Um, so if we have a quick look under the front, um, on the BMWs and stuff, you get sort of knacker ducts. And you have a big duct here um, that goes straight back to cool the brakes. But like I said, on this car, there isn't really anything. So I think that is going to be a consideration for perhaps a future project. Um, is to sort of try and develop some way of cooling these brakes. Like I said, they've got vented discs um, on the front here. I haven't got them on the back. They're solid discs. Um, and I'm not, I don't really want to go for anything like slotted or drilled or anything silly like that. I personally quite like the vented discs. Um, and I like the fact that they've got a big brake setup because this is quite a rare option um, on Volvos in general, really. Um, so it's gonna be something that I'm gonna look into um, because I like to do quite a bit of, I quite like driving fast. Um, I like to do performance driving. One of my favorite things actually is to make sort of, especially um, I've got quite a lot of experience with sort of fast and advanced driving is one of the big things I like to do is make a big car go fast. It's just one of the best things, Make taking it through corners um, that most people um, wouldn't actually think these cars can do because they're actually very capable um, provided you get sort of the weight distribution and everything right. As long as you're aware of how to um, move a big car, um, then it's, yeah, quite a satisfying um, thing to do. But um, like I said, I think these brakes a standard from Volvo, um, or perhaps just the sheer sort of power of the brakes aren't the cooling isn't um, enough uh, for 
what this car the brakes can do so um yeah i think what we're going to look at doing is perhaps um looking at a way of maybe some venting through here as you can see this is all completely blocked off so i might cut a few of them out um, just to allow some airflow through um into the sort of wheel arch here um but then obviously I might have to do a cut or something in there to allow the air to flow through. Um, I'm going to figure something out. I'm going to plan it first as well. But um, yeah, it's just an interesting thing I thought you guys might like to know um, about these Volvos. Um, and something that if you're I'm a personal believer that if instead of making a car faster, you should actually make it stop better. Um, because that's probably going to be, if you're doing performance driving, that's going to be the biggest thing. that will get lap, time, lap times and stuff down. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do any track driving with this. It's just something that I think um, it's just sort of improving the capabilities of the car um, in certain situations, especially in, I think we're in 34 degrees heat. So, um, yeah, that's just a quick video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, obviously, yeah. Um, I wanted a Ferrari, I'd have bought a Ferrari. Well, no, I wouldn't because I couldn't afford it. But um, something with a bit more specific brake capability. So um, let me know if you guys have had similar issues um, with heating the brakes in these cars. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.